Voice Plus, we know everyone has a digital camera or camcorder, but what they might not have is a long-lasting battery. Imagine that once-in-a-lifetime shot, and the battery fails. That's why we stock so many different batteries, and we make sure that our customers have the best batteries for those special events in life. At Batteries Plus, it's all while giving our customers our very best shot. Visit Batteries Plus in Waco and Temple for all your battery needs. Gizmo Brewer has the largest selection of paintball guns and accessories. It's the only store that has its own feel. So call them to plan your next party or event. They have the largest selection of airsoft guns in Central Texas. They also carry a large arc of martial arts weapons, swords, and knives. Ghost! We have the largest selection of ghost hunting equipment in Central Texas. Gizmo Brewer, 3302 Franklin Avenue, Waco, Texas. Jasper's Barbecue, serving up Waco's best barbecue since 1919. Come try our mouth-watering, melt-in-your-mouth brisket, our channelizing sausage, fall-off-the-bone ribs and stick-in-your-ribs chicken, all served up on butcher paper in the old-style tradition with your choice of fixing. You can dine in with us or carry it home to the young ones. That's Jasper's Barbecue, 105 Clifton Street on the corner of Clifton and Elm, Waco, Texas. Do you need t-shirts for an upcoming event? Call Red Garage. Let our staff create a special design for you, or you can use your own. Call Red Garage. Choose a laundry or screen printing for that special original design. We offer the best prices in town. If you need one shirt or 1,000 shirts, our experience and thrilling staff will help you through the whole process. We offer complete satisfaction. Call Red and Garage. 1100 South 30th Street, Waco, Texas. I'm Cindy, this is Mike. <laughs> I'm Mike, this is Cindy. We're with McLennan County Paranormal. Great, I'm glad y'all could make it. Come on in. Thank you. Thank you. How about you want to give us a tour and show us uh, the hot spots? Sure, we can start in my room, that's where a lot of it happens at. In this room right here, um, the bathroom, uh, I see shadows in the bathroom. Cool. Is that light going to bother you? I'll tell you if I can get her head in there. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, in that bathroom, you can always see shadows moving, like in the light and stuff, when I have the door shut. Uh, Desi's asked me several times if I can see the man. Now, Desi That's is my two-year-old daughter. Two-year-old daughter. Yes. In fact, two nights ago, we were uh, laying in bed, and she said, she sat up in the bed, and she looked over, over there, and she goes, Mama, you see the man? I said, what man? She said, right there, the man. Standing over here? Yeah, pointing towards the bathroom door. And I said, uh, sure, I see him, honey. And right after that, I could just feel, I didn't see anything, but I could feel somebody in here. I always feel somebody in here with me, though. And usually I feel it like over towards the closet area, but a lot of times Desi will look and talk to somebody or something over there towards the bathroom. Okay. Uh, the last investigation that we did at your mother's house, do you think it's the same man? Yeah, and let me tell you why. Because um, you remember I told you that my bed shook mm -hmm. all the time? Um, it still does that. Only the only difference now is, um, of course, the bed's directly on the floor now, as you can see. 
but now I can feel some, like I can feel my blankets moving when I'm laying here and I can feel something like that on my, my leg at night. Um, so you think it followed you over here? I think so, yeah. Do you have anything in this uh, trailer that you brought from the house that it could possibly be attached to? Um, this bed, uh, this bed and that TV stand. This one? Yeah. I think that's about. Oh, what you get? Hello. Short room. No, <laughs> no ceiling. Um, I think those are the only two things that I brought. Okay. That I've got over here from the house right now. Okay. There hasn't been a whole lot happening here in the living room. Every once in a while, both of uh, the girls, my roommate's little girl is um, almost three. Her and Desi both um, play with something in the corner over there. Over they talk, here. talk, and having conversations and laughing and. Um, like I said, it's not all the time, it's not as much as the other rooms. Both of the girls, uh, probably my roommate's daughter Riley, more so than mine, um, they like to come and run in the hall a lot. Um, both of them have come running screaming scared out of here before, like several times. Now, how old is your daughter? She's two and Riley is almost three. Three. Yeah. Um, so they were, they were terrified? They were scared, yeah. They were scared. And even Desi, when she said, I'm scared, I'm scared. I go in the room. So, um, and when Desi gets like that, she clings on to me and, and just won't let me go. You know, so. Um, I sometimes feel like somebody was standing in this hallway, like when I'm sitting there watching TV, if I'm here by myself. It's like I can see them out of my eye. But of course, when I try to do that or look over, they're gone. You know, there's nobody there, so. Uh, I guess it was last, um, I'm going to say it was last, maybe Monday or Tuesday night, my roommate Tabitha and her daughter Riley were back here and um, Tabitha let out a scream and her husband James got back here and he said she was just white, she had no color to her at all. And uh, she came out and said that um, she was in here fixing to come out of the bathroom and she seen like a white haze, um, kind of like a white cloud, you know, like a hazy cloud. She said, but is that a corner of her eye? And she said, when I turned and looked, it was like it noticed her, noticed it, so it, it went through her, it like charged at her and went through her. And that's when she screamed. Now this is your roommate? Yes. And she has experienced things here before I, before I moved in. So well, she'll, be, she'll be here pretty soon. Yeah, we'll be here in about time find out when they're going to be here. And uh, I've been in here before, like when I'm bathing Desi, if I'm like bathing down over the tub. And there's even been a few times I've seen a shadow actually come up over me, but I always feel like somebody's standing behind me watching me bathe her. Or if Desi's in the back with me, or if I'm in here by myself, I always feel like somebody's standing like right over here, just, you know, kind of like, like they're doing like this, watching. This is the master bedroom. Um, hmm. It kind of takes my breath and my chest gets tight when I come in this room. <coughs> um, I get like lightheaded. Um, uh, in here is where my roommate's daughter said that um, she was in here talking to somebody and when Tab asked her who it was, she said, Papa, yours. So she didn't know she meant her grandfather or Tabitha's grandfather or Tabitha's dad because Tabitha's dad has passed away as well. Um, I just have an uneasy feeling in here. I don't come in here. This is about the fifth time I've been in this room since I've lived here. <laughs> and like when I come in there to go take a bath, um, this door is usually open to keep it cool in there. When I come in here to take a bath, I'll real quick come run and shut that door because <laughs> I just, you know, uh, I always feel like somebody's sitting in here just, you know, watching everything. We are in a home in Lacey Lakeview, and they are having um, problems with shadows being touched, frightening the children. So we are going to see if we can find out what's going on for them. Let's set the recorder.
first thing I want to do is quick sweep around the room. See if we get any kind of EMF. Yeah, I forgot that. But I don't want to know. Somebody left the vent on. Check out the lamp and get about a warm there. Okay, I'm gonna set the meter right here. We have a bag laying in the bathroom. It's just a pl plain old plastic uh, shopping bag. And we're going to see if we can get anything to move that about, since it's very, very light. Okay, let's get this flashlight going here. Right there. camera turned off while it was sitting on the bed. Completely off. Okay, we're gonna set that right here. See if we get both of them. Super sensitive, right like that. Temperature. Between 77 and 79, we're going to set the base at 78. All right. We are here just to talk to you. We want to know if you followed Alicia, if you're following her, and why. We have a flashlight in the floor right there. If you tap the back of it, you can talk to us real easily. We'll ask questions. You tap it one time for yes, twice for no. There's a plastic bag. If you want to move it around to show us you're here, it might be easier. Open the door. Anything you want to do, knock whistle. You're going to have to do it loudly. Can you tell us your name?
Why are you attached to Alicia? Come on, let us know you're here somehow. Tap on the back of that flashlight. Can you knock? Can you whistle? Why are you bothering her? Why are you bothering this family? Is your name Charles? Just tap the back of the flashlight just to let us know that it's you if your name is Charles. <laughs> is that you over there? I see it trying to come on. You can do it. Turn it on. Are you the one messing with my camera there? Come on, turn it on. Ah, uh, you can do better than that. Tap the back of that flashlight. Make it come on. If you hit it hard enough, it'll stay on. Where are you? Well, I'm going to walk towards you because I need to turn my camera back on and you need to leave it alone. Why did I just get goosebumps all over my everywhere? So it was 260 minutes on the battery, so I don't understand why it's going off. That's the, oh, so you are doing it, are you? I see you're not afraid, are you? Not, like I said, huh? Can you make it go off now? Thank you. Leave this camera alone, all right? Can you do that? I'm fixing to start recording again. It wasn't even on. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Are you still there? Turn it back on again for me. Can you do it? Do I need to come check it and make sure it's uh, easy enough for you? Now, I'll, I'll ask you again, is your name Charles? Tap the back of the flashlight if you're Charles. Okay, you're not Charles. Are, are you a male? Are you a female? Are you afraid of us? We won't hurt you. We just want to know why you're here. How you died. Why do you scare the girls? Come on, turn that light back on for us. Show us you're still here. Okay, you've turned that camera off twice. Can you do it again? The one sitting in the floor. 
Make it go off again if, it, if that was you doing it. Are you over here by us? This K2 meter was going off. Mm -hmm. Are you sitting here? Get closer to this, this green light. Make it go orange. You okay? What was it? Come back around on this side, closer to, to me too. Are you hiding in the bathroom? Are you that afraid? I'm gonna put this back here. I want you to walk over here by this green light. Make it go, make it go all the way up to red. I'm, I'm gonna show you how it will do. Won't hurt you. When I turn it on, watch. See how it goes all the way up to red? You come over here and do that. <coughs> I'm gonna count to three and walk up to it. One, two, three. Did y'all hear the two taps? It sounded like it was right there in the hall. What is it? I'm just seeing a shadow. What? Shadow? Like something moving in the doorway right there? Well, are you standing in that doorway? Come on in here and visit. <laughs> Or two footsteps. Mm -hmm. Come on now, where are you at? You're in the bathroom, you're in the hall, you were over by the bed earlier. Playing games, like always. Come over here. I'm going to stand behind somebody instead of getting in front of somebody. Can you show yourself? You see something in the bathroom? It's like a flash of light? Yeah, but it was like dark though on the camera. But it went in front of the bathroom door in the room. Come right over here. Come close. Well, you see that green light in the floor? If you get close enough to it, it'll make it make a loud noise. Turn it is will turn red. Can you move that hamper again? While we're sitting here, if you're strong enough to do that, you're strong enough to touch that flashlight and make it come on. Come talk to us. Do you want us out of this house? Are we invading your space? I'm going to come right here and I'm going to knock. And I want to hear some loud knocks. Answer this. Oh, come on. I know you can. Can you close the closet door here? Should be easy. It just slides shut. Tapping. I want to know what that tapping out there is. Are you answering me out there? Do it three times in a row. That was one. That was two. I call that three. Thank you. K2 
Can you walk down the hallway towards us? Turn the tap right over there, though. Are you over there now? You gonna try to shut that uh, closet door for me? Are you experiencing any unexplainable noises or activity in your home or office? Or do you know someone who does? Please contact us at 254-749-5839 or you can email us at mcpi at live.com. Please, I'm going to